Ruth here, and this is my craft stash haul number six, I believe. And I bought this. It was on a uh, 24 hour deal, and um, this was a bundle thing. But I, I don't know if the bundle thing was part of the deal, but it was on a discount. And this one was on its own in the 24 hour deal. <clears throat> So I like, just give it all. So I don't really have very many layered stencils. So I thought it'd be pretty nice. So. <clears throat> this is the uh, stencil headers. Pack of 10. I thought that'd be pretty useful. And. It does go with. This. Because it clips on right. Right there. By the looks of it. We'll see if I need to use that somehow. But I also got that because it went well with the, I believe, yes, with these that I bought. And these ones already had the uh, things on the top anyway, so that might as well. These ones were the, uh, this in my previous haul. Anyway, <laughs> um, here is the posy posy. Mm, okay, <laughs> very nice flowers. And this one, some lovely butterflies and flowers too. These ones look more like a bouquet and butterflies, is what it's called. It looks more like a rose. Than some of those sometimes, but anyway, look nice. So I thought I might as well try it out. <laughs> so the main thing of this is this rotating stamp platform. For some reason, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I don't know. Basically, the magnets here, you put the paper there, and when you want to rotate the paper, you rotate the magnet whichever way. So you get even stamping or whatever. It comes with two magnets as well. Perfect for circular and corner repeat stamping. So, creates rings and circular patterns. Circular stamping, corner stamping, and just creating a pattern. So regular stamping, really. That's where you use the, uh, <clears throat> the magnets. So I believe this is on like a spring load. So let me uh, get it out. And I can't really do that with one hand, so I'll be right back. Comes in plastic. <clears throat> huh. And the usual warnings. But at least it does still have a hole in it anyway. Here it is. It shows you the uh, degrees and how many times you can turn it. That's pretty cool. Also has like the uh, 45, 30, 15 kind of angle degree things where you put the paper or where you put the stamp, I don't know. And here is like the, uh, I guess, paper size? 4x4, four 5x5, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's got I guess seven centimeters ten inches. I think it'd kinda of be more useful if it was not in like just blending into the board. Very cool. This is it's like a spring load. And this bit is the spring on the bottom. It's got a uh, foam underside, so I guess it would move, and also, you know, for, I don't know, Good stamping pressure or something, I don't know. But here is the main rotating mechanism. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, but that is the magnet. Here's the degrees of where you're supposed to turn, I guess. It is a very strong magnet. Oh, that's strong and very loud. But it'd be very useful if I lined up the magnets properly. There we go. So. <clears throat> something to see, I wonder. Hmm. I've got this piece of paper. Oops, that was in the way. <laughs> This is not a square. It doesn't line up properly. Hmm. I wonder. You'd need a proper square, I think, if you're going to use the quarters. So like, you know, like a 6x6, 5x5, 4x4, for proper, you know, even stamping. So, you would use this like normal in the middle. That is really loud. <laughs> so like, you'd use this. For some reason these don't feel as strong, but I guess they are maybe. I don't know. So like you do use that in the middle like normal. Put these two bits on. Have the stamp and just go like that. Like normal. But yeah. I don't have a square and I don't want to cut this because this is the panel for one of my A6 cards that I already cut out for that, so. I mean, I could stamp something, but I need two hands for that, and I'm currently holding my phone with the other one. So, we'll just leave it like that for now, I guess. I don't know. If I have a uh, small square 
I'll do something, but I probably won't be having one anytime soon. So, thank you for watching. Over and out.